Hey, it's MC. Uh, today, I'm going to do a review on Babyless SnapFX Clippers. As I said, I had them now for almost a month and I'm going to just go over them quickly. I'm not going to really go too crazy about them, but let's just see what I liked and what I didn't like about these particular clippers. So I'm just going to compare them to one of other uh, Babyless Clippers that look very similar. But if you look here, this is the Babyless uh, Snap FX. This one is slightly, the, the older version is slightly uh, more uh, elegant, slim. This one probably is wider here because of this part that comes off so for cleaning. And so besides that, also let's talk about the, so the sound. So these are quite so uh, quiet, very noisy. Quiet, snap effects, very loud. I like the sound on these. Loud here. The blade, one thing I found out about the blade is that you cannot zero gap this blade. No matter how close you bring it, it still doesn't cut very close. However, the, when you do bring them very close and you put the guard let's say half a guard it bites the clipper it bites the plastic of the guard so i don't like that so for a 400 dollars clipper i think definitely needs to have a better blade i think this one has a better blade than them uh, on the back i don't know much about their blades but i see that one is uh it ends with ob and one ends with od so the ob is definitely better blade it gets closer and it's a better blade so now we have one thing that i don't like about this clipper is the sound it's very loud two the blade for 400 dollars clipper i believe it should be a lot better than that next thing in general i'm not a big fan of uh, of babyless guards i think they are too bulky and stiff, I, I prefer the wall guards over these. Uh, and you can see the, the comparison here between the wall and the uh, uh, Babeless half guard, for example. This is your wall uh, half guard. It's slim, it has short teeth versus the uh, Babeless. It's kind of like bulkier and for some reason, I just prefer the wall one, hundred percent. So I'm not too crazy about the guards either. They have a cleaning system, which is nice. You can take this out and just clean it, uh, put it right back, which is pretty cool, but it does make the clipper slightly bulkier here, not as slim as these. Uh, the clicking system is nice, it's there. Uh, the ergonomics of the clippers in general, I don't, I never thought they were that great. They're almost like a cylinder. A lot of the clippers have a lot nicer uh, ergonomic system on the back, for example. You know, they have a, f a finger uh, place here where you can place your fingers, these don't. So let me just, one second, let me grab a clipper that does have it. So here I have, uh, for example, I have a old school M Pro clipper. And you have these places where you simply place your finger so you can fade. Babeless actually doesn't have them on any of them. So it's more like a cylinder in your hand. So other than that, besides having uh, sound, loud, uh, slightly bulkier here, this is one nice thing to do, clean. This is cool here that you can actually take the, the batteries and change them. That's cool, but the thing is like, I never use that. I mean, I do about 15, 16 haircuts a day and my clippers, for example, whether it's these or wool or any other that I use, I never had a problem running out of the juice in the battery. And usually I have two of these. So it's better to, for me personally now, I believe I rather spend, 
invest in two of these and spend $200 and always have one charging, one using, then $400 just for a battery. And I don't even get a blade that I need. So if you really like these clippers, you're definitely gonna have to change the blade to a blade that can definitely get closer so you can remove those lines that start from zero, especially a lot of edges today. They cut very close and this one will not be able to remove that line for sure. And unless they put different blade on it. So overall, my thing is about this particular clipper. It looks cool on your station, you know, with the changeable batteries. Um, but is it worth $400? Definitely not. I had it on my station for a while, but I was going back to this clipper, which literally cost $60 to do my fades because I couldn't get my job done with a $400 clipper. So that's my opinion on it. For more details on these clippers, you can check other channels. They might have more details on them. Uh, but myself, I'm, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of it. I wouldn't spend $400 on it, even though I did the first time. Uh, so, so much for this clipper. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I really appreciate it. Please put a thumbs up uh, and like my channel and follow me. I really appreciate that. Uh, for you guys that are babyless people, I'm sorry, I don't mean to put you down or say anything bad about your clippers. Uh, for you guys that are simply looking for, to buy new clippers, uh, I would say just honestly, you don't have to spend so much money to get a good clipper. You have so many you have old school and other companies that can get a job done with three times less of the price. Thank you so much. Take care until next time.